Hey, what's up, Alpha Gang? We are back for another install episode on Project Veronica here, uh, you see in the back. Um, so last thing we did on the car was the stuffed turbo install, and then we had it dyno-tuned as well. So um, as you've seen, you've kind of known that I've installed a few carbon fiber bits. Um, we did the carbon fiber fenders. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be replacing this stock hood on the BK2, and we're going to be putting what's in that box on top as a replacement. So I will show you what that's all about. Um, we'll take it apart. Um, I'll show you which hood I got and uh, let's just get at it. All right, see you in a bit. Hood out just to show you guys. Um, so the hood I ended up getting was this Vis Racing AMS hood. Um, I think this is gonna go great with the uh, carbon fiber fiber fenders that I have. Um, the packaging was really good. It was, the, everything was really heavy duty, tons of bubble wrap. Um, and they also had these little protectors on the edges of the, of the hood as well too, just to protect that from possible cracking. Um, but everything in the weave looks really good. Um, they have these vents that are covered right now, but on the underside, um, you can actually remove these. I mean, of course you're gonna, the engine bay is gonna get a lot dustier, but it's gonna look really, really good. Um, I can't wait to put this on. Uh, another thing that I also got, um, big shout out to Rob at Unique Performance. Um, he hooked me up uh, getting this hood. Same with shipping me some arrow catch um, latches as well too. So I highly recommend this for any carbon fiber hood install. Um, some guys don't rock them, but you don't necessarily have to get the arrow catch latches. Um, I just find from previous uh, experience is sometimes just it could have just been latch failure on my part um but i was driving and i wasn't going that fast it was just a windy day going like 60k and all of a sudden i hear this this ping and my latch let loose and then my hood flew up and of course it smashed my windshield smashed the top of my hood or the top of my roof and did a bunch of other damage of course the hood was done but um i learned from that and ever since that I've been rocking hood latches, especially if you're doing like maybe track stuff or you're going higher speeds. Um, these hoods are pretty light. Um, so I would, I would definitely recommend it and just add it to the list. Um, so we'll probably be installing the hood right now, just doing the swap. And then later on, we'll actually be cutting the hood to install the arrow catch latches. So if you're curious on how to do that, we'll be taking you through the steps as well too, to get that done. So uh, let's get at it and start replacing the hood. Um, Dustin's gonna come by later as well. And he's gonna give me a hand, of course, cause it's gonna be a lot easier with two people lifting the stock hood off and then putting the other one back on. So um, yeah, let's get to it and get this hood on. As we start this install, um, I probably won't be using this again just because the tension on the carbon fiber hood, I feel it's going to flex quite a bit when I try to close the hood. Um, so I'll probably end up removing this um, this rod here, um, or the hood prop I guess. And you'll have to reuse these as well too because I notice on the new hood we'll just be swapping these over which they just twist out and then place them into the new openings. Um, hood latch of course is attached on the other one and there's also on the other side of the hood on the front we'll also be taking this off and applying it to the new hood um, it does come with on each side of course because we're going to be taking off these two nuts right here looks like it could be a 10 but i'll confirm that when i actually start taking them off um, the two nuts on this side and the two on that side and that's it that's all there is and then we'll just swap over um, the new hood so on the underside as i was talking about before uh, let's just lift this up so there's the two screws that do come with it, um, which is nice because the packaging, as I mentioned, is pretty heavy duty protecting these edges. Um, you'll see there's the two openings. So we're gonna put those two rubber stoppers there. And then there's also the other one on this end as well. well actually, there's two there. Um, and the latch, of course, is covered. Um, I'll just take that off once we actually put the hood on. But that's about it. But uh, yeah, everything's pretty straightforward. Uh, should be a good install and uh, let's get started uh, just to let you know because I'm just taking the rubber stoppers off um, to get these rubber stoppers off they just twist off so as you can see here um, that's how they come off you have that one and then you'll have one on the other side um, those will twist off and go onto the new hood and then this rubber one um, here, let me put this down for a second this rubber piece this was just let me focus in here this was on top it was just below that one that I took out um, this little stopper piece came on, but it's a clip underneath. I just want to show it before I, I pop it out here. I just used a flathead and just stuck it in here to push the tabs on the side. So now I'm just going to get those tabs and just pull it out and apply it to the new one. And then we'll get this, um, 
get this part of the hood taken off and uh, that should be it once we take these off um, then I'll be able to remove the hood Here's are off um, that little plastic or plastic piece that I mentioned with the clip and um, that's just for this on the hood um, to uh, show that it is closed so now we're just gonna use a 12 mil and take these two off on both sides and then remove the hood um, this one as I talked about before um, this was just a clip um, just to hold that hood piece up and then it just came off the ball so we'll try to reuse it on the other one um, I'll see what the tensions like if I end up keeping it up or just getting a hood prop but we'll uh, go from there so the hood's on um, the only issue that I had was by the uh, fender here it was rubbing a little bit so basically what we ended up doing is let me just get the latch here what we ended up doing here is we put a couple washers um, just by the right up here I still got to tighten it down so you'll notice it's a little bit loose but if you can see by the nuts in between the hinge and the hood um, we just put a washer in the very back so that way it actually cleared the fender but um, yeah it looks pretty good so I'll probably try to put on the um, just the hood prop I'll probably try to put that on and then probably put the rest of the parts on and then go from there so these pieces that I mentioned before that we'd swap over onto the vis hood um, it's pretty tight in here to even get those in and um, I didn't want to dremel this out or make it bigger to fit so I mean you can if you want I just avoided it um, but this piece however um, for just to active just to show that your hood is closed um, that pushes on this little piece um, I put that one on because without that one it's not gonna actually arm your security properly like when you lock your door you're not gonna notice it the lights actually flash so we just put that on there to make sure that indicator would actually show um, other than that yeah it's it fits really good um, the only things we didn't add were just these little stoppers but as for fitment I'll just show you right here fitment with it closed um, Gap is pretty decent. It's not too bad. I know my fenders from the last video I mentioned they do come up a little bit over the hood. Um, but even over here, it's really good. Not too bad. Um, as I mentioned, we had to put the washers on the top bolt um, just to clear this part of the fender that was starting to rub. Um, but the front, I know I've seen on some other hoods where there's always a bit of a gap or even up near the front, but it's really flush. Um, it's going to fit really, really nice. So we'll continue this video. Um, with the arrow catch latches as well too so we'll get those installed and uh, go from there and just drove up by my house uh, just to show you kind of what the hood looks like before we do the hood latches um, but yeah let's show you what it looks like yeah so it looks really good nice and aggressive I'm really happy with it the way it fits um, super pumped so thanks again to Rob at Unique Performance this looks really really good and in case you haven't noticed already I did get new side splitters as well um, just a more solid material they have like an aluminum um, body essentially in it so it's just a lot more solid just in case for track life um, but I got those from sinful visions as well but yeah like I said before fitment's really good it's really tight along the edges um, yeah not enough good things to say about it so yeah now we just gotta get those latches done so until then, I guess we'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, see you guys. Hey, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Um, so we are now gonna head to Dustin's um, to finish the hood install. Um, and by hood install, I mean it's already done, um, but uh, we still gotta do the hood latches. So we're gonna drill into this carbon fiber hood, um, which of course is nerve wracking <laughs> when you just spent you know a bunch of money on a hood. 
Um, so Dustin's definitely, he's more the expert in that. Um, so we're gonna head over to his place and then get started and kind of go through the walkthrough as well too. So if you're attempting to do it yourself, um, then yeah, you'll kind of have an idea. Maybe it won't be so nerve wracking um, for you as well. So let's get at it. We'll see you in a few. We are at Dustin's now. Um, I, if you notice, I'm holding this right here. We didn't actually attach this because as I was closing the hood, um, it was too much tension on the hood. Um, so we're just not going to use it. Probably just keep it in my trunk as a hood prop, I guess, for when I actually do have to open it. Um, Dustin is just cleaning the hood right now. Okay, all ready for that hood surgery and, and cutting into it. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get started. And here we're applying some painter's tape. That way it'll help with any potential cracks uh, when we actually drill and cut into the hood as well. And it also gives us an area that we can trace the outline for the actual hood latches as well. On here, where this little rubber stopper was that we decided not to put in, um, it actually touches right here where it's a solid piece, so that's probably where we're going to end up coming up. And then we'll just have to end up cutting out here. But, uh, yeah. So here we're just moving the power steering reservoir just because right under here there's like these fins that are getting in the way and we actually have to drill in to get the pin through. Um, but when we have to put the nuts underneath that pin, that's going to get in the way. So. That's why we're moving that out of the way, so we can get that pin in there. Drilled out just a small hole to start. I'm gonna do the same on this spot. And we're gonna just remove this cable, um, just so when we're drilling and cutting, um, that's for the hood latch, that we're not gonna possibly cut into it. So we're just gonna find where this clip is and remove that out of the way. So we didn't actually have to remove the clip, but uh, we just pulled this away. Um, that way we can actually drill and it's out of the way. Just remember when you're done all the cutting there, just to put it back in the same spot so that when you're adjusting everything later, you can actually pop the hood as well. So now we stepped up the size of the bit um, just to allow the pin for the hood latch to fit. So as mentioned earlier in the video, we had those fins that were underneath the opening that we made. Um, since they're in the way for where we have to put the nut that attaches to the pin that goes up to the arrow catch latch, um, we have to cut those fins off. So we ended up making uh, or using our Dremel tool to cut those fins off so that we can get the nut in there and be able to fasten it properly. And we'll do this on the other side as well. For this next step, we're not putting the washers in just yet. We're only putting the nuts in just to hold the pin in. So then now we can figure out where we're gonna drill into the top of the hood. And then we'll apply the washers later once we're at that stage. But for now, we're just making adjustments. On the pin, um, you can put lithium grease or something just to mark it. So then when you close the hood, um, try to get the sun if you can see it, you'll have that mark in here um, underneath in your hood. Um, where this meets up and then that way you can figure out where you're drilling into your your hood for this pin in particular. So where we actually close the hood, where we originally mentioned earlier in the video where there's that stopper here that I didn't want to dremel out. Um, if you can, I don't think you can see it, you can kind of see a little bit of a mark. That's where actually the dot is um, inside there um, where it has to get drilled out. So we we'll actually end up having to take that off anyways in the end. And drilling out the top hole where the mark was. And we're through. <laughs> so because I was mentioning the hood pins or latches before, actually even on this fist stamp, it says it right there. For safety purposes, it is recommended. Just making the hole bigger. For the pin to fit through. With, uh, you'll notice that there's no washer as we put these back in again. 
it's just because these will actually, the threads are gonna have to get cut just with the length as we have to bring it, bring the actual uh, latch down more. So for now, we're just kind of placing it. Normally the, um, the sandwich plate part, I usually would just flip this around and then use that as a marking line for the outside just so you can measure it. But you also want to uh, measure it equally, at least if that's what you want. <laughs> and of course, if you see inside with the pin, um, strike plate, this should actually just make sure it's completely even. Um, you don't want this to be off-centered. You want it to make sure it's going directly through the, through the hole as well. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> no? Making sure your measurements are the same from the bottom of the hood to match the other side. Sharpie, just to outline. So the outline that we made, this is not actually the area that you're cutting. Um, we're actually going to put the template back on and then we're going to trace around the inside because the inside is the actual part that we're going to cut. Um, so we put the template down here and then we're going to just trace the inside line. So this line right here is the one that we're actually going to be cutting uh, in this next step up here. So, uh... Now I'm going to drill a couple holes to make it a lot easier to uh, cut around this uh, hole or the uh, arrow catch latch. So now this is the beauty layer on the outside that you will have uh, to go through, but then also on the other side, in order to have access for it, you'll have to cut underneath the uh, fiberglass. Uh, for the Dremel tool, if you do use a Dremel, you can use a disc to go do a lot of straight cutting, which is nice. But in terms of doing the rounded edges, something like this bit gives you 360 degree uh, cutting. So it gives you a lot more maneuverability. Trimming. It's done. Doesn't have his has a flush in there, so now we still gotta cut the bottom and get holes drilled as well too for these parts. I guess it's coming together. Now it's the uh, actual latch installed from the top. Um, bottom is still not done yet, but now that this is in, then just drilling the holes for the top. base for the underside of the arrow catch latch. Um, we can slip it under here, um, but on the underside you're going to have to be able to hold it up to sandwich it together um, with the actual top of the latch. So we kind of just drew this piece up. We're actually going to go smaller than this and see if we can get our fingers in there to actually hold this up there while the top piece goes in. Um, and if we have to go bigger we'll just go a little bit larger but we're trying to keep these cuts pretty clean um, and then just going from there so we'll start with a smaller hole and then uh, we'll see if we can get this on underside 
and have the top piece on top with no problems but if you have to make it bigger to reach then then we'll cut a little bit larger but that's where we're at you put that base piece in through here uh he's holding it on right now so you can kind of see it sticking through i think yeah there it is and then We have to get we're not gonna put it in legit right now just because there's no tape screws in here. Okay. But yeah, and that's just for the opening underneath. So then we have to put the nuts in underneath. Dustin and I were curious on what we wanted to do with uh, this bottom plate with these nuts and we're thinking about putting tape on here so then we could actually have them hold in here while we put the, the screws or the, the nuts in or the screws um, but yeah they just click in and they hold themselves there so I mean I'm sure if we put pressure from underside on the underside at least we won't have to worry about them like falling out on us so yeah that should be all right throughout these pins um, for the height. So we're just taking off all the tape on both sides right now and then that way we'll actually put the latches inside. So as I talked about before, we'll put them in through here and then just screw them all in and then that way we'll start adjusting these pins because we're gonna have to cut them, the bottom of them of course, to shorten them up uh, to make them work. But um, we'll put these latches in first and go from there. With this, uh, you can use glue or like an epoxy um, just for the inside of where we cut with the fiberglass just because it was a bit exposed and we didn't want to get water um, possibly just inside the, the fiberglass there so just as a precaution um, just to seal it up a little bit better on those edges so they're all nice and covered but uh, you don't have to do it but it's up to you. So the bottom plate in latches going on top and then we just have to fit the screws in Alrighty, and we're reaching it from the bottom to brace it on that small opening we made here finish latch push down here now we just gotta get the pin inside. But that's mounted. And we just have to adjust this one. And just showing you how small the openings were on the bottom. Um, it was just enough to push up on that bottom plate just while we're attaching the uh, screws to the bottom of the nuts. Um, but yeah, just keeping it clean. Just adjusting it to try to get the height. Hopefully. Tightening it down. This one's off a bit, so we're just gonna have to adjust the pin to get a little bit more centered. Nope. Made the final adjustment for height on this and lined it up properly with the top where it's supposed to go in. It's actually sitting in the middle, so we'll just go over and show you the operation of how that works. So yeah, we just dropped it down. Is to apply a bit of pressure, of course, with the tension pushes the hood pin in that locks as well and then for the final closure of course just to get it to do the second lock on the front of the hood you just apply some pressure there and it's it's completely locked so we'll end up doing the same on the other side um, of course when you want to pop it then he'll just go in front you'll have to open up the hood first hit the latch that's open and then you'll apply it you'll pull this out just push down a little bit and there you go, that relieves the tension. So yeah, everything looks good there. It looks really clean. Um, so we will finish adjusting this side and then show you what it looks like at the very end. So the pin, because you have to come down in order for the hood to line up properly, we did have to cut um, the bottom of this pin here. So Justin just cut that and he's just shaving it down a little bit. Some of the burrs. But uh, yeah, I'll make the adjustment on the other side and then reattach that to the latch. 
this one because it's a little off still. You have to adjust it a little bit to uh, just. Dustin's left. So all he's doing is just loosening the nut and then pulling it his way and then tightening it again. Or attempting to. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good. Um, gap is still the same as when we installed it, but yeah, these pins look really, really good. They're pretty secure. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the finished product right now. So all we have to do is just tighten everything down um, underneath um, just the actual pin itself, just to make sure it's, it's fully secure now that we have adjusted it. And that's it. What's up, Alpha Gang? So that's pretty much a wrap on this video. I hope that our install and some of the advice, of course, helps you out if you decide to do this install um, on the hood or the latches, of course, yourself. Um, there's a few challenges, of course. It's more just measuring everything multiple times and, and, and course being careful with your cuts and then just making sure everything fits uh, and a lot of adjusting but other than that it wasn't too bad I um, want to say a big thanks to Dustin of course for taking care of pretty much the majority of this install as he's, he's done the hoods before um, so he's a little bit more of an expert on on that in particular but uh, as for next time I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and it has helped you out a little bit um, hit that like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one Peace.